morning, everybody. I hope you had a great weekend. I wanted to share a recipe with you this morning, cookies and cream trifle, which is a delicious recipe made in the Pampered Chef's trifle bowl. Um, before we get started, I would like to just ask if you would please like this video and share it with your friends. Feel free to tag me in those posts and I always like to go back and answer any questions that any of your friends have as well. So we're going to start off with our trifle bowl this morning. If you've never seen Pampered Chef's trifle bowl before, we have the um, stand and the bowl are two completely separate units here. So they store nicely as well. So you don't have to find a, a cabinet tall enough to fit your whole trifle bowl. You just set this right inside. We do sell some cookware protectors, which are great to store your stand inside of the trifle bowl. And then the lid snaps right on the top. So you can put this in any can, any standard cabinet. It doesn't take up very much space. And the beauty of this is once you've made your trifle, it's easily stored in the refrigerator and it's also transported much easier than if you were trying to transport in a bowl with a stand that is not removable. So we're gonna make cookies and cream Sunday trifle today um, right here in Pampered Chef's trifle bowl. This recipe is really quick, it's really easy, and it is so delicious. When you make this, you're gonna wonder how in the world it tastes so good to be something so super simple. So let me go ahead and get started. I'm gonna zoom in so that you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. Um, we're gonna get all of our ingredients ready to go in the trifle first. And I have my recipe here just to kind of make sure I, I get everything together. We're gonna to get all of the toppings ready first. So we're gonna start off with our quick slicer. If you've never used this before, um, basically it's like our wedging tools, but you can slice fruits and vegetables with this. It's also great for things like soft um, fresh mozzarella. Um, it's great for bananas, strawberries, avocados, apples. You can get really creative. You can use this for so many things. It comes with a little storage base. So I'm gonna pop that off. And then we're gonna take our um, bananas. I've got four bananas here. So you're gonna get to see this a few times. We're gonna peel all of these first. And then we're gonna slice them in half and put them right on the quick slicer. So quick, so easy. We will um, put a little bit of lemon juice on these bananas to keep them from browning. And I'll show you our citrus press, which makes that really easy to do. Now, you can also um, put Sprite or 7-Up or ginger ale on any of your um, fruits that might brown easily, like apples, bananas, um, and it's a great way to um, get that step done without wasting a lot of money or if you're buying the lemon juice, you have to, to squeeze a lot of lemons to get there. We don't have a lot to work with today, so I'm just going to use a lemon. But you just put these right on the little base here, and then you just press straight down until we have these bananas all sliced. So I'm going to transfer these over to our small batter bowl. So I'm going to do this a couple more times so you can see what I'm doing here. So transfer those over, put um, two halves on here at the same time. We're going to do a whole banana at once. We're, instead of adding strawberries to this recipe, we're going to add raspberries. Um, the grocery store was out of strawberries, so um, we substituted ra raspberries and I think it probably tastes really good. We're going to take um, our lemon and our citrus press. I'm just going to slice this lemon in half. You pop open the citrus press like this, place half of the lemon in here. This is a small lemon, so it's easy to do cut side down. Some of them work better um, cut side up. It also makes a difference on how um, thick the skin is. This one's a really thin skin um, lemon. And our citrus press is great for lemons, limes, um, small oranges, and it's dishwasher safe, so it's really easy to clean. I'm gonna give these bananas just a quick little toss. You don't wanna stir them because they will um, get smushed, but we'll let this sit to the side while we get the rest of our trifle ready. So this is gonna keep the bananas from browning. I'm actually not gonna be serving this until tomorrow, so this is a great recipe that you can make ahead of time and um, serve the next day. So we'll set that over there. The next topping, remember instead of the strawberries like the recipe calls for, we are going to add some raspberries. And I used our Easy Read uh, measuring colander. You may not be able to see, but the measurements are printed actually on the inside of this cup. And you can measure your fruit and you can also rinse it in the same container. So it's great for beans, it's great for um, canned fruits and vegetables. You can hook this handle right over the divider in your sink as well. So it's really easy to drain. So we'll set this back aside because that's ready to go. All I did was rinse those. Um, if we were using strawberries, then you would want to rinse them, um, remove the stem, and also um, slice them with a quick slicer. We're going to go ahead and work on um, one of our other toppings. We have the 
um, manual food processor here, and we're going to use some mini Oreos. Um, you could use whole Oreos if you want. Um, these were on sale this week at Kroger, so I went ahead and got them. They were just a dollar a bag, and so this we're going to use the mini Oreos for the whole recipe. Um, you could use whole ones if you wanted to. To use the food processor, there is a processing lid. There is um, three blades on the inside, and then you have a three cup capacity container that you can chop into. So we're going to take the, um, the lid off. We're going to pour in some of these Oreos. I didn't count them out, but you're going to need about 10 of the mini Oreos. That's probably a few more, but if you have a few, a little, little bit of Oreos is good. A lot's better, right? So you're going to release the little lid on the processing handle. Flip this up. Let me adjust my camera slightly. So this pops up for you. And then you can see we finally processed the Oreo cookies. So I'll set this aside because we're going to put this in with our Cool Whip mixture and then we're going to need the rest of these Oreos for the trifle topping. So we're actually going to layer the Cool Whip mixture with the fruit, the Oreos. Um, it's going to be delicious. So we're going to take our um, medium stainless steel mixing bowl. This is a set of three. You get a two quart, four quart, and six quart bowl in the set. This particular bowl is going to be the four quart, so it's the medium size in the set. These have handles, there's a pour spout, and there's also measurement markings on the inside. I'm not sure if you can see those, but um, they're pictured on the inside of the bowl. This also comes with a lid, and the bowl and the lid um, are dishwasher safe, so you can easily clean these in the dishwasher when you're finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one box of um, Oreo pudding mix, and this is going to be the... Um, 4.2 ounce size. So this is not the small box, this is the large box. So we're going to pop this in the mixing bowl. And then we're going to mix in, whoops, if I can get it open. Then we're going to mix in half a cup of water and a can of sweetened condensed milk. So this pudding has little Oreo pieces in it. So you know this is going to be good with all these Oreos. So a half a cup of water, which I measured in our Easy Read measuring cup. That's part of a three cup set as well. We're going to add in a can of sweetened condensed milk. And if you've never seen our can opener, I'm going to give you a close up look at that here today. So this is our can opener. It's called the Smooth Edge Can Opener because it leaves a smooth edge on both the lid and on the can. So I'm going to slide some of this around here so hopefully you can get a good look at this. Um, I recommend that you start at the front of the can. When you start at the front, um, you'll find that you um, can easily know when you've gone all the way around. So you just put this wheel right up against the edge of the can like this. You're going to give this a turn. When you turn it, it attaches itself to the can. So you're going to twist until you bypass your starting point, which is the front of the can for me. And then once you've gone all the way around, you're going to turn counterclockwise to um, release the can from the can opener. There is a claw um, on one side that you activate with the button on the other side. So basically you're just going to pinch this lid right off. And the really cool thing about this is there's no jagged edge on the can or on the lid. So we're going to pour this in and I'm going to borrow, we'll, we'll use this one. Got our um, large mix and scraper here. I love this product. I actually have had this um, product for 18 years. Yesterday was my 18 year anniversary with Pampered Chef. And this is a product that I got when I first got started. And I love it because it doesn't melt. It doesn't permanently stain. <clears throat> And it still looks really, really pretty. It's one piece construction, so you never have to worry about the head popping off the handle. Now remember, please like and share this video so that others can see it. And if you'd like access to this recipe and hundreds of other trifle recipes, please go to my recipe group here on Facebook, which you can find by searching my name, Mindy Muscle Banks, add a hyphen in the words Pampered Chef. Request to join the group and when I finish the video, I'll approve you. And earlier this morning, I uploaded a file with lots of great trifle recipes. Um, and there are other great recipes on my website as well. All right, so we've got in this bowl, let me see if I can hold this so you guys can see it. We have the box of pudding mix, half a cup of water, and the sweetened condensed milk. This is a container of um, Cool Whip. It's a 16 ounce container, but we're going to use only about 12 ounces of it. I'm going to save some of this for um, the top of the trifle for tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scrape out almost the whole container, but not quite. We'll save some for our toppings. Okay. And then I'm just going to fold this. You don't want to mix it in. You want to fold it so that it stays nice and fluffy. If you wanted to, you could use our whipped cream maker to make homemade whipped cream and 
it wouldn't take a long time to do this. I just figured I'd make this according to the recipe today, and everybody that's coming out tomorrow to my 18th anniversary party is going to get to eat this. So if your mouth is watering while you're watching this video, you can taste it. Um, if you'll join me tomorrow night, which is Tuesday, January 17th, six o'clock here at my house, you can message me for the address. I will be happy to share that with you. I'm having a sample sale, and we'll also be doing a quick recipe demo. So now we're gonna take, I'm gonna put the cutting mat aside here. <clears throat> we're gonna take our trifle bowl again. We're gonna put half of this whipped cream mixture right into the bowl. I try to keep the sides of the bowl clean while I'm doing this. I'm not all that great at doing it. Um, see, I just made a mess there, but that's okay. So we're gonna, and see, it says pampered, not perfect. We we're supposed to stir in the, um, cookies that we chopped. I know I was forgetting something. So we'll just do this like this and I'll stir that in and then we'll stir the rest in here. So it says pampered, not perfect. Anybody can do this. Stir in these cookies like this. All right. And then I'll mix this back into the bowl. I'll put just a little bit more on the top. And basically we're going to top this with half of the cookies, half of the bananas and half of the strawberries. And then we'll do this again. So I'm going to pour just a tiny bit more in here. If you have any questions along the way, please comment. I'll be happy to answer those after the demo. I'm going to grab another scraper because I, I used all of, I used both of those for Cool Whip. So we're going to pour half of the bananas in this one. Try to get them on the edge a little bit too so that you can see them. I'm not the best trifle maker, but as far as looks go, but they always taste delicious. And in my opinion, what they taste like is way more important than what it looks like. So we're gonna put just a couple more of those. And then I'm gonna put half of these raspberries. So I'm just gonna pour these right out of the uh, measuring colander. A little bit more. And then we're gonna put half of the cookies. So these are just the mini Oreo cookies. take the rest of our Cool Whip mixture. I'm just going to pour this on the top like this. Doesn't this look so good? Y'all, this recipe tastes so good. The first time I made it, I served it at a party that I did here at my house. And um, I was like, I got to make sure I get a bite of it. And when everybody left, there was just a little bit left in there. And I just licked this bowl clean. It was so good. So you will love this. And I will post the recipe in the comments when we are finished. All right, so we're going to put the rest of the bananas. So we'll sprinkle those around. And then the rest of our strawberries. I mean raspberries, sorry. The original recipe is for strawberries, but we're using raspberries tonight. And then the rest of our cookies. We'll sprinkle those around. And then tomorrow, when I'm ready to serve this, I'm going to put the remaining Cool Whip, which I have still in its original container. So I'm going to take the remaining Cool Whip, I'll put it inside of one of Pampered Chef's new decorating bags, and I will just squeeze that Cool Whip right on the top of this, and then I'm going to drizzle it with some Hershey's chocolate syrup. So really quick, really easy recipe, but for the meantime, when I'm, I'm not using it, I will store this with our storage lid. So I love this. I can put this in my refrigerator. It'll be really, really easy to store. It won't take up a lot of space and it'll be ready for tomorrow night. And then when I'm ready to serve it, you just take the stand, place the trifle bowl on the stand, and then you're ready to go. So this recipe is called Cookies and Cream Trifle Sunday. I appreciate you watching today. Like I asked at the beginning, if you could like and share this video, it's in the corner. Um, you can share this video, tag me in your post, and I would love for your friends to see this video as well. If you have any questions, please comment, and I'll be get, get back to you as soon as I can. To access the recipe group that I have here on Facebook, just type in my name, Mindy Muscle Banks, add a hyphen and the words Pampered Chef, and you'll be able to find the group on Facebook. So I hope you guys